Hello my friends, today is number 10. Our topic is ways to practice self-talk. My friends, what do you think about yourself? Is there any time you appreciated yourself? Or is there any time you motivated yourself by mentioning your own name? Or is there any time you cursed yourself whenever you pass through disappointments, failures, and rejection? Or have you any time spoke to yourself? You are good for nothing. You are born to be cursed. You are born to be hurt. Or is there any time you explained and described you are very badly to others whenever you passed through abusive situation? Our devotion comes to us from Genesis chapter 3, verse 10. And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. My friends, self-talk is the act of talking to yourself, either aloud or mentally, no matter good or bad. These are the messages that you are telling yourself all day long about yourself. The messages you tell yourself will encourage and motivate you or they will limit you because they are negative. The question for today is how to practice self-talk. Bible helps you in three ways. Number one, Romans chapter 8, 36 to 39. Never speak failures. My friends, many times you degraded yourself very low just because others degraded you very low. You discriminated yourself just because others discriminated you. But today, change your perspective. Say to yourself, you are sufficient, you are good, you are beautiful, you are successful, you are worthy, and you are trustworthy. If you are despondent because of others, if your spouse cast you down, if your work officers disrespected you, and if your friends rejected you, don't worry, my friends, because you should know your worth and your value. Never let your mind discard or degrade you. Think about yourself more than what you want to think about yourself. Don't forget you are unique, you are trustworthy, you are reliable, you are approachable, and you are a warrior. Just speak to yourself quality things. Nobody can stop your progress, my friends, as long as you think positively about you or appreciate you or appreciate your appearance, or applause for your success, and bless yourself. Number two, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Never speak negative things to yourself. My friends, your success is based on how you speak to yourself. Your progress is based on how you respond to your feelings. Your motivation is based on how you answer to your life's question. Your life may be low and high, tears and smile, loss and gain, but don't let your mind think discouraging and negative thoughts and results. Just speak to yourself all positive and motivating words. Never say, you cannot do this, you are disabled, you are poor, you are illiterate, you are weak and fragile. No, 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 my friends. Never despise yourself. Never feed negative thoughts in your mind. Just speak to yourself that you can. It is possible. It is good for you. You will never fail. You cannot be stopped. Those are the words that you have to speak to yourself to motivate you. Number three, Proverbs 15, 1. Never use aggressive words when you speak to yourself. My friends, if you love yourself, if you respect yourself, if you value yourself, you will always speak 
good things, sweet things, positive things, and above all, progressive things to yourself. Never use rude words to yourself. Never be very aggressive when you speak to yourself. Your words reflect your characters and thoughts. Your words and your thoughts reflect your heart. Don't hurt yourself by your aggressive and abusive words. Be smooth, be gentle, and love your heart and mind by expressing positive words even when you cry, even when you are hurt. If your spouse says you are ugly, no attraction, just stand before the mirror and say you are beautiful and attractive. Appreciate yourself. Never change your words just because others. Here is the hope for you from Psalms 42 verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation. Let's pray. Heavenly God, there is somebody here always thinking about themselves very low and they discriminate themselves, O oh Lord. Please help them and help them to feel they are so beautiful. They are brave and strong and they have everything in Christ. Let them understand they are the children of the Most High God. Therefore, dear Lord, make them feel they are safe in the hands of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.